The Miami Valley is known for its innovation in aviation. Today, some of our leaders in Washington, D.C. are making sure that trend continues. Rob Sneed is digging deeper, showing us how it can benefit the economy. Well, Katie, Senator Sherrod Brown, Representative Mike Turner, and Airbus hosted an event at the National Composite Center. They wanted to encourage companies to be part of the Airbus supply chain, bringing more money and jobs to the area. If you stepped inside of the National Composite Center Monday morning, you would have seen about 135 Ohio business representatives from roughly 90 companies. Senator Sherrod Brown, Representative Mike Turner, and Airbus hosted the event. Both of these gentlemen have been great partners with Airbus as if we have worked together to increase the aerospace business in Ohio. And their mission, even further expand the use of made in America supply chains in the aerospace industry, something Brown has been working to see since 2009. At that time, Airbus was doing $10 billion worth of business with U.S. based suppliers, $4 billion of which was in Ohio. That made it the number one ranked state for Airbus spending in the U.S. According to Senator Brown, Ohio is home to more than 1,200 businesses in the aerospace industry, employing about 110,000 people. Like Senator Brown, Representative Turner expects to see more advancements in aerospace technology and more job creation if more companies create working relationships with the company. The National Composite Center, of course, as you know, is a great private public partnership. I've been very proud to secure over $3 million worth of federal funding that has helped both in the operation and also the equipment uh, acquisition for this facility. As of right now, the National Composite Center is awaiting word from the Ohio Third Frontier regarding a $2.7 million grant which would allow a physical Airbus technology hub to be built. Brown says he hopes to see that move forward soon. One of the things we're doing that will help with National Composite Center sort of writ large is uh, I have legislation uh, with uh, Senator Blunt from Missouri um, called the Hubs Bill. He says it will create a network of manufacturing hubs throughout the country that focuses on America's efforts to research technology and produce the next generation of products. Now, in terms of when or if that $2.7 million grant will be rewarded, well, Senator Brown says he isn't sure. Reporting live, Rob Sneed, 2 News, working for you.